we wanted to look at Silala's evolution because Silala has been putting up kind of like martial arts videos since 2016. Mm-hmm. And of course, Rob and I discovered Silala in 2019, right? So it was a while before mm-hmm. we found him. So we wanted to see kind of some of his sparring matches before he got to his first ring match that yep. we could find on his channel. So this first one is him testing his Wing Chun against a boxer. Nice. So this was 2016, and this was in Ooh. March. That's a good jab. Yep. Woo! Aha! Uh-huh. I like that. I like the animation. Animation, yeah. Very kawaii. So one thing that I think we notice Chilala doing right now is that he's not moving his head side to side. He's moving more backwards sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, but his hand speed is definitely very quick. Yeah. It's interesting because I think we talked about this before where when you try to get above your opponent mm-hmm. and you and you lose your base, yeah. your strikes aren't nearly as powerful. Yeah, true. And it's interesting because it looks like Chilala is using much more Wing Chun here than we see him use in later days. Oh, yeah. He's, he's literally trying to figure out how to adapt his Wing Chun to actual fighting. Yeah, yeah. Which is actually is really fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's, he's obviously the, the traditional boxer is not um, going full speed, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's sort of, um, you know, they're, they're doing technical drills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting that he's not wearing any padding, whereas the boxer is wearing padding. Right. So. Huh. I love that. That's yeah. great. He's, I, I can see Chilala's like understanding angles now a little bit. Yeah. Just just in this match, you're seeing him yeah. understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's great. That's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah. I love the like the Taiwanese Japanese type of animation. Yeah. You can tell Neon very, Belly. Neon Belly, yeah. yeah. You can tell why his name is Silala, very inspired by Japanese culture. Mm. So he's playing a lot with trapping too yeah. in this. So, um, it's so funny because um, I saw Chilala throw a kick earlier. But Ooh, he's, that was nasty. Yeah. That was great. He trapped one of the arms. And so Chilala has only thrown one kick so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I guess it makes sense. He's like, well, let's just test our let's test our um, punching. So. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting because I feel like he's much faster than, the, than his opponent here. Yeah. And yet... Um, I don't know that that's going to help him later on exactly. because when you're going against somebody who's going full speed, you won't be able to do the exact same thing, yeah. and that will be frustrating. Um, but I think right now he's, you know, he's it's like a like a cub, like a baby yeah. cub yeah, lion exactly. who's like trying to like play with his food. Yeah, yeah. It. I really love what Rob said earlier about how, you know. In this kind of like light sparring, yeah. a lot of these really fancy techniques, fast techniques he can use. But when the other person starts going 80, 90, 100% at him, right. that's one of the reasons why we don't see more Wing Chun. Exactly. Because before you can even launch two punches, you already have a punch to your face Yeah. in a real life situation. Or like in the ring situation, which is close to real life. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, you can see how he's standing straight upward. Yeah. That is not going to work in an actual fight. True. You're so off balance. Yeah. Um, and he's learning that right now. Yeah, you, you know, see, like, he's he's starting to kind of like yeah. stand in like a more kind of like fighting stance. Mm-hmm. And like when I noticed earlier how he would always like move his head back, like he'd go direct back and forth. It was because he was kind of standing more straight upwards. Right. So he didn't have like room to pivot or move kind of side to side or angle. This is really good for him to sort of get his distance management down yeah. and sort of get actually get comfortable getting lit up a little bit, you know, getting tapped. Yeah, yeah. You have to get past your fear of getting hit. Right. And so he's doing that now. So this is a month later where Chilala spars a karate guy. So this is in April of 2016. Nice. So, um, of course, karate guy is going to fight differently than the boxer, right? And like Rob and I have noticed, Chilala already, look at how he's standing. He has one foot slightly um, in front of the other foot. So he's already kind of adapting. And... Notice how he's keeping distance. He's beyond the striking range of the karate guy. He's like, you come in because I am I am going to play the defensive role, yeah, counter-strike. His hands are so low. Yeah. This guy's going much faster. Yeah. He definitely increased his speed. Oof, nice. And I guess that makes sense why Chilala is like 
um, beyond the striking range of the guy. He's like, if the guy's mm-hmm. coming very fast, I'm not going to be able to do a lot of the combos. Yeah, I don't I don't like, I'm sorry, but I don't like the way that he's sort of like squared up. He's uh, a yeah. huge target. It's a very Wing Chun type of thing. Yeah. And you notice that he's not like that too much anymore. Mm-hmm. But I'm really curious, too, to see what's going to happen in during his first ring fight to see mm-hmm. if he's squared up like this. Mm-hmm. I love it. You see, he tried to use his elbow to mm-hmm. kind of um, distract the opponent's attack, but I don't see it working yet. Right. He never gets to react in time. Right. But, you know, I've tried that before. I've tried to use my elbow to destruct, right, to, to yeah. force against, force someone's attack. I can never have the reaction time. The stance, the squared off stance, you just don't have the ability to launch forward or backwards the way you need to, mm. or even side to side. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he's kind of adapting again. Well, he went back to parallel again. Mm-hmm. Split, that is. Mm-hmm. So, they have, like, classical music playing in the background. His opponent's really getting funny. a little tired. Yeah. Right? And part of it is his opponent's the one blitzing in and blitzing out, right? Uh-huh. He's making his opponent use majority of uh-huh. the energy. So. I'm just I'm concerned that in an actual fight with your hands stuck out like that, mm-hmm. it's going to get kicked. It's yeah. going to get punched. Or grabbed. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. So, yeah. And also notice Chilala's not wearing head protection again. Right. But his his buddy is, is keeping his hands very low. True. And I think that's easier on him. Yeah. Because he knows that he only has to trap from a certain position downward, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice of him to yeah. not punch him right in the face. <laughs> exactly. I think his opponent got a little um, tired. Tired, all yeah. Gassed. Yeah, all gas. Ah he's picking him up. He by picked his him head. by his helmet. That's hilarious. Totally missed that, but I think so. Oh, there, there, right there. <laughs> He's like, nope, I paid you by the hour. <laughs> Hilarious. Man, got a sense of humor, man. And I like that they're both wearing kind of more MMA gloves. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chilala's really trying to test out the trapping and everything. Yeah. No, not trying to use excuses like, oh, I got the wrong gloves. He's like, well, right. I'll just get the right gloves and try it. So, um, compared to Last Boxer match no um chest pads or anything on the on the karate guy so it's pretty cool though to see like Shilala have all these like parries and all that Mm -hmm. but there is a reason that we don't see him use many of that in kind of a more combat type of competition setting yeah because there's fewer lulls like this oh yeah you're not gonna have yeah here you go (laughs) this is basically just like uh playing Playing around. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's just having a, having a good time. Yep. Uh, he's like, I'm going to step on you if you don't get up. <laughs> uh, so, looks like there's one more exchange. So, one thing we do know is Silala has got good cardio. Yeah. We've never seen him be the one to be tired. So, whatever you're doing with the cardio, that's really good. Mm-hmm. The karate guy also lifts his chin way up when he strikes, but I think it's because he's protected by the head pad. Mm-hmm. So he's like, ah, it's okay. Even though the, the head pad doesn't prevent, um, you know, whiplash. Mm-hmm. And no kicks. Yeah. Even though the karate guy, I'm sure when there's kicks involved, it adds a new flair. Mm-hmm. So. That was interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> a oh, classic oh, Bruce Lee type of punch oh, right there. <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. Yep. A little Aikido action there. Exactly. So I think that's it, man. Um, so that was Chilala testing himself against a karate guy. The evolution, the evolution. of Chilala. So now he's going against a boxer again. Ooh, elbows. Yeah, this time they're allowed to throw elbows. So. He's, but, I like his angling now. Yeah. He's definitely, so he's, he's learned how to enter in on diagonal. Yeah. That was really interesting. Yeah. If, you know who's got really good technique on that is uh, Machida. Machida oh, would do that a lot. Interesting. Oh, that's I good. I love it. Oh, right into the heavy bag. Yep. It's interesting. Um, He's angling. Oh, oh got yeah, tapped got there. Got tapped right there. He said, ah, ha, ha, that's my weakness. Yep. He's angling, but we do notice if you look at Silala's footwork, he crosses his feet sometimes. Yeah. So that's something I think in later fights he starts working on that. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. now he's just practicing angling. He's getting it, but his footwork mm-hmm. is not complete yet. 
Mm-hmm. And again, guys, this is just subjective. You could say his footwork is complete, but that's just this my is, opinion. So that's where Wing Chun falls apart, right? Uh-huh. There, I don't know if you saw, but it was like it was right two or three strikes into the combo, mm-hmm. right, there. right there. You know what I mean? So like he he was able to deflect the first two, mm-hmm. but by the time three and four came around, you know he just didn't have. Yeah. The energy to keep the momentum yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. The lack of reaction time plus the momentum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One, two, one, two, yeah. one, two. It's all you need. Yeah. It's like so super simple. Yeah. One, one, two, one, two, one, one, two. two. Even with Xu Xiaodong fault, Lele. Oh, that was interesting. Yeah. Lele, Lele blocked a few of Xu Xiaodong's one twos before eventually he just ran out of momentum. Mm. Right. He can only block. Blocking takes more energy than it does to throw a strike. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, right in the noggin. Yeah. So this has happened a few times. Yeah, like he's he's been caught um, with that same punch a yeah. few times. Straight down the center. Mm-hmm. So and I think you know Wing Chun thinks that they're blocking and they're pairing and stuff can prevent that, but it looks like the Wing Chun guys always get right down the center or hooked. Mm-hmm. It's because it's because they don't angle off after yeah. their strikes. Yeah, exactly. You have to strike and then angle off. Yeah, yeah. They stay straight on the center line and yep. they keep it there. Yep. Woo, nice. Yeah, that was Pretty interesting. Good. So, Chilala's been learning how to angle, and he's going to start learning how to not eat punches right off the center. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that step punch thing, mm-hmm. completely ineffective. Yeah, yeah. The reason why you need to have your feet on the ground is because you need to generate force going forward from your traction on the ground yeah anytime you take a foot off the ground whether you're kicking or whatever it is you become vulnerable yeah because you've only got one contact with the ground yeah exactly exactly so there's five seconds the person recording says Oof, Ooh, that's cross. pretty good so again that's good what we really understand about silala is that He's got really, really good cardio, man. And pretty decent timing. Yep, pretty decent timing. So um, this is right before his match. So he had a match in December of 2016. This is September. So this is five more months later. <laughs> that chin. Yeah. <laughs> that chin is out there. So this is Silala sparring against a Sanda guy. So a, a, like a Kung Fu-based kickboxer. Ah. So let's look at five months after that boxer match. Gotta how love Chilala, that fire yep. effect, bro. Silala loves the kind of like the... So, we can tell this is Chilla is definitely angling much more. Also, notice he's got the big gloves, so he can't Ooh. utilize some of the trap. I really like that the distraction, the low kick mm. to the to the jab. Uh-huh. Watch this. I think it's a right low kick. Right there, right there, right there. That was slick. Yeah, that Levels. was very slick. Up and down, like the upper and the lower, get people to think levels. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, this guy's hopping around, but he's not like he, like you can see his base is horrific. Yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, yeah. He literally like if he slept, he would have fallen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy, this guy might have more kung fu than Sanda in him. Like he might be more a dancer than a fighter. Yeah, I would say so because yeah. he keeps on switching his. And stances. He, look at that turning, turning away from his opponent yeah, he too. Keeps on switching his stances. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's stationary here. Yep. Which is not yep. good. Oh, there you his, go. Yeah, he, he gets lit up every time. As soon as he sticks his leg out like that, his leg gets attacked, then he gets jabbed yep. in the face. Yep. This is this is uh, easy pickings for him. Yep, exactly. You're going to go low and go high yeah. again. Low, high, low, high, high, low, high, low. Yeah. High, low, medium, high, medium, low, etc. Oof. Yeah, this guy's yeah. totally terrified of getting punched. Yeah, so this is not a good representative of Sanda. But we can tell that Silala has been sparring many, mm-hmm. many different types of people. Mm-hmm. So now, guys, let's move on to the meat of it. This is when he has his, probably his first match ever. This is a kickboxing match. Silala is in um, blue. And by the way, um, the person in red, it's the same kickboxing school that we recently featured. It looks like Silala's kung fu people have had a big rivalry with them since 2016. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. So Silala's in blue. Look at him angling off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's fighting a more conventional kickboxer. Hands are very low. I don't yep. like that. Ooh, Chilala has a close enough. Yeah, definitely. He has got a good cross. Yeah. Like when he when he enters and, and strikes with the cross, yeah. it, it usually lands. Um, we saw that a couple of times in his practice. Yep. He's also trying to um, get to like um, the outside of his opponent. I saw that at least once. Mm-hmm. Um, he he southpaw. Oh, that's Ooh. there it is again. Is yeah. it, that's his that's his bread and butter. That's yep. a good. It's a 
Good cross. Exactly. It's his left hand, huh? Yeah. He's a southpaw. And now he's, oh, he switched, switched back to yeah. orthodox. So now he's back to southpaw. Yeah, here we go. He does the cupping on his back, as you can tell, those pepperoni-looking things. Uh -huh. So, yeah. so interesting. Like, his first match, he looks much more like a karate guy or a kung fu guy mm -hmm. than he does a kickboxer. I just don't like when he kicks. He, their hands are so low. So low, yeah. 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 Oh, Woo, nice. Again, yeah, the, the left. The left, yeah. Every time it lands. The stances, man. He's much more like Kung Fu stance. Oof, 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 oof. He's in trouble there. Yeah. Good framing, good framing there. Yep. Yeah. His pants are so saggy. Yeah. Or so baggy. Yeah. Parachute pants. Remember those? <laughs> MC Hammer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, he doesn't have as good of an entry when he's doing orthodox. Yeah. When he switches to stealth ball, he has a much better entry. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. So there we go. Now he switched over to stealth ball. Yeah. Oof. But at least he made contact with yep. the guy. There it is Oof. again. Yeah, he's, he needs to switch back. Yep. He's also, um, he's really sticking his chin out sometimes. He's mm -hmm. almost looking up at his opponent sometimes. Mm -hmm. So he's like squatted down a little and looking up at his opponent with his chin sticking out. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oof. Good avoidance of the head kick. He yep. was able to angle off. What? Did someone throw in a towel? What is that? What was that? I don't know. Uh, maybe they threw that in as an indicator that the match is or the, the round is over. Interesting. But it still says 50 seconds. I don't know what happened. Maybe <laughs> someone got kicked somewhere inappropriate or something. I don't know. So Chilala has, um, that's a, has a coach. I don't know who... Um, we need to find out more information about that coach. Mm -hmm. but, oh, if like, you know any information on this coach, let us know. Let us know. And Rob, actually, I think you're right. This they have a one minute break. That's why we saw the, uh, the countdown. So it was like the end of the round. Got it, got it. So the kickboxing side is on the left, like teaching him, and his like kung fu side is telling Chilala what to do, etc. Got it. Got it. It's so interesting. And. I love the look at the confidence of the kung fu side. They're like smiling, whereas the kickboxing side is more like, okay, all right, okay, yeah. Kickboxing needs to raise his arms up above his head and yep. get some air in his lungs. Let's see, you see Lala's uh, cardio is top notch again. Yep. So um, the the official commentator said that the kickboxer right now is in the lead in the scoring. Ah. So. Woo! Good avoidance yep. there and good tag. Let's see. Man, he's heavy on that front leg. Yep. The red red is right, heavy on yeah. his front leg. So he's easy to get lit up with the leg kicks. Makes sense. Oh, nice. good entry there again. Hmm. Yeah, like you said, the, the red is so heavy on his mm -hmm. lead leg. Mm -hmm. Is that to prime himself up for a cross or something, or just to prime he, himself for the kick? He he's trying to get a strong cross. Yeah, oh, okay. he, he thinks that by leaning forward, he'll have more distance to cover with his jab and cross. Oh, makes sense. He's not really trying to kick so much as he is, um, just creating a um, a stabilized striking position. Makes sense. Um, but knowing that, Silala should just leg kick the. Heck out yeah. of his front leg. I wonder why his corner's not telling him to do that. Um, they probably think that he has the ability to do better with his strikes. Ah, uh, makes sense. Unless this is one of those kickboxing rules where you can't leg kick, but I don't mm. think that's in kickboxing rules. Mm. This is definitely... It says... Um, um, it says Tichuan. Tichuan means... Um, Tichuan Dao. Because you like kickboxing. <laughs> yeah. See, I just likes to have a little bit of fun yeah. sometimes. I guess, you know, if, you, if you're going to be a martial artist, you got to have some fun. Got to be flashy. Yeah. There you go. Uh, did you see him? He yeah. tried to sweep a little bit. Yeah. See, Lala tried to use his right leg to sweep the guy's yeah. lead leg. What I don't, what unfortunately, when see a lot is like sometimes when he gets like aggressive, yeah. he really starts like Wailing. swinging. Swinging, yeah. Like wide, like his chin is way out in yeah. front. And wasting his energy, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he, he found out that if he just swarmed <laughs> the guy and did some like windmill type punches, yeah. that eventually the guy would his balance would be off and yeah. went backwards. Yeah. 
So that's what the, I would really like to see. Point. I mean, I didn't see a single uppercut. Yeah. At all. Yeah. You know, like all you got to do is just, you know, yeah. just get in there and throw one or two just to throw them off. Yeah. Yeah. Especially like Rob said, if you put the uppercut in a combo, a lot mm. of times they don't see it. Right. They literally just eat the uppercut and they're like, oh, oh, I forgot that you could like get punched from down there. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's only two rounds. Mm-hmm. Oh, they gave it to the kickboxer. Mm-hmm. So. I think that was more so on based on size. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't really know that that was points yeah. was that significant of a difference here, but mm-hmm. I can see that he uh appeared bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's so interesting. I think um probably some of the refing is also they're they're looking at our kickboxer and seeing that he's throwing maybe less strikes, fewer strikes. Mm. So they're like, okay, fewer strikes that are landing versus Shala. Maybe he's landing more strikes, but he's throwing way more. I don't know. Maybe that's why. Mm. Or maybe it's just the cleanness, the the kickboxer's landing cleaner strikes. These, I feel like Shalala landed a lot of strikes on the guy too. Yeah. But you look at, look at the point system. Like they keep giving points to the kickboxer. Mm-hmm. So... Maybe we have to get Silala to kind of explain to us how this works. I think that they might have also gauged it in, in the sense that, like, Silala appeared to um, look more desperate yeah. because he was going for it. Yeah. And they might have, that might have given them the indication that, like, he was behind when they were pretty even. Sure. But it's just that he's just an aggressive yeah, dude. Yeah, he's just an aggressive dude. Ah, uh, I just want to like go to side control. Yeah, side control. Yeah. Or if this were Muay Thai rules, you know, think yeah. about different clinch techniques and stuff yeah. like that. I think that's why in the future Chilala entered Muay Thai matches instead because you know he he does seem to have some clinch skills, and Wing Chun has some like close quarter grappling skills, right? Like a lot of those Wing Chun techniques, if practiced right, can totally be used against Muay Thai. Mm-hmm. The problem is they usually aren't practiced right, so. But so this is like the evolution of Chilala. This occurred in December, December third of two thousand sixteen. So this is like a good little end of the year present for for his martial arts journey. Nice. And then of course two thousand seventeen, he started really going into it. If you look at Chilala's channel, two thousand seventeen is when the um the like the competition footage really starts going full swing. Because that's when he met Jerry. That's right. That's when he meant fight commentary breakdowns. By the way, guys, thank you so much for subscribing to him. Um, he's almost at 800 subscribers, nice. man. So let's get him to a thousand. Let's get him to a thousand, exactly. And also, guys, um, make sure because we saw Jason Pelsey heard his music a little earlier. Make sure to go and um, swarm him. him, swarm Jason oh, Pelsey, swarm Jason Pelsey. If you guys want to have your mind blown, um, go ahead and on YouTube look up Jason Pelsey GoPro. Exactly. And he just has a GoPro camera on his head and he tears this piano apart. It's amazing. Exactly. It's got something like 4 million views or something ridiculous. I was looking at this because I thought this was a match that we didn't analyze yet, but this looks like just an exhibition. Mm. But maybe this is something we can look at later. I don't know if that's Tsilala, so this could be a thing we look at later. Um, Once I figure out from Tsilala if that in the ring is him. Mm. Um this actually might be the time. Silala went to Hong Kong to fight a Hungar guy. As the legend grows. Yeah. <laughs> and he claimed, like, he won the fight, but he said he wasn't happy with his performance. He wouldn't share it with me. This actually might be that match. Ah. So maybe we found the match that Silala refuses to share because he felt like he didn't deserve the winner. He felt like he didn't win as cleanly as he wanted. So maybe we found it. Like George St. Pierre. Yeah, exactly. I am not happy with your performance. So that's the that's the Mei Hua Chang guy, the Kung Fu guy that is in all of Chilala's videos. Ah. So have you interviewed him yet? Not yet. I've been trying to get more information, but Chilala is not passing information along. Chilala, so, what the heck, I man? Know. He's like, fight commentary breakdowns for me. It's not for my Kung Fu friend. Chilala. <laughs> I think that's him. I think that's him. So guys, um, we're gonna look at Chilala um soon. We're gonna look at him. Um, and his uh, fight against the Hungar, I believe that's a Hungar guy. And if you guys want to see more techniques of jiu-jitsu from Jerry, give him some encouragement so that we can do jiu-jitsu every day. That's true, guys. Um, I know there's a big jiu-jitsu community, um, maybe not as much on fight commentary breakdowns, but the ones that like jiu-jitsu, man, let us know. That's and right. we'll do more jiu-jitsu, guys. 
jujitsu. All right, guys. Uh, fight commentary breakdowns.